Namaste my good friends and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Victor and today I'm going to share with you seven signs that your sixth chakra, otherwise known as your third eye, is opening and becoming active. A lot of you are having this third eye opening experience and don't know it because the signs and the symptoms and the indicators will manifest very differently, very subjectively per the individual. But here's the thing. Here's why I made this video. Because right now we are living in a very important time in the Earth's history. There is a wave of consciousness sweeping the planet. Many of the human beings on planet Earth right now are finding themselves going through a, a pretty radical shift in consciousness and transformation due to the energy's rate, the vibration raising on the planet. And as this happens, our chakras begin to open up. The sixth chakra in particular is a special one because that is what's going to really open you up to the spirit world, open you up to your own divine guidance, your own divine intuition, and it can be very it could be a very helpful ally as you go through your earthly experience as you make choices and navigate yourself around from experience to experience having that higher vantage point, that deeper intuition, that psychic sense is extremely helpful. Sign number one is your intuition is increasing. You're finding yourself just having that, that sixth sense, your, your instincts, your, your knowingness is becoming more keen, more obvious, where you're having little insights about life more often than usual. And you might you can experience this in a number of different ways. So one of the one of the ways that I experienced this back a long time ago, um, when I noticed my sixth chakra was opening up, is when I went to buy a car, and I could just see more clearly the different angles the car salesman was using towards me. I could tell right away there was a particular truck on the lot that he wanted me to buy. Maybe he was getting a bigger commission or something. It wasn't the truck I wanted. I was telling him I want this particular truck, I want this color, I want this sort of model. And he kept trying to like finagle me into buying this one truck. Um, and anyway, I could just I could just pick up on his motives more easily, more accurately. They're more in my face. So that was wise. Funny enough, I ended up going with that truck anyway that he wanted me into. It worked out, but the point is, my intuition was becoming more obvious, and that's a good a good example of how having a heightened intuition can help you in even practical day-to-day -day matters. So is your intuition increasing? Are you able to smell BS further away than normal? Are you able to kind of just look at somebody and read them and kind of know their truth, know where they stand, know what kind of mood they're in, know what their motives are, know if they're a good person or a bad person, know if you want to vibe with them or not and spend time with them? You probably do. If this is the case, this is a very clear sign that your third eye is opening. Number two is that you're interested in learning about the third eye. The fact that you click this video is kind of a case in point. But you might find yourself naturally and organically excited and drawn and just fond of topics related to the third eye, the sixth chakra, opening your chakras, the pineal gland, decalcifying your pineal gland, detoxing your pineal gland, all that kind of stuff, increasing your intuition, meditation, astral travel, all these types of sixth chakra you know, areas of study, you might find that you're naturally interested in, where you might have other things going on in your life, but if it was up to you, you'd call into work, you'd hop on the computer, and you'd read blogs about the third eye. You'd read blogs about the pineal gland, the sixth chakra, etc. When you're reading it, that kind of stuff is resonating with you. It's feeling relevant in your life, and it's just what you want to do. And here's why that happens. Your higher self, your inner being, your, your spirit, if you will, will naturally cause you to feel excited about the next thing that's relevant for your growth and development and progress on planet Earth. I really want to highlight that point number two because I know a lot of people have heard a lot of things about the third eye and what it can do when it's open. And a lot of people I know, because I've, I've coached people, have said, you know what, that's so intriguing. That's so... Uh, that sounds so awesome, but I fear, I, I question whether mine is opening or mine can open or will that happen to me? Are you interested 
in the third eye? Do you have a genuine desire to, to open it and to see what it's all about and to see what it's made of and how it can enhance your life? If you have a genuine desire, then you're already in the process. Number three is you're synchronistically, kind of effortlessly attracting information and content about your third eye. You might not have decided one day, I'm going to study third eyes and see what that's all about. You probably had this information kind of fall into your lap in some sort of random way. Maybe you're watching a YouTube video about dog training or something and all of a sudden your, your eyes are naturally drawn to one of the 15 videos that YouTube will suggest on your right hand side and your eyes are just drawn to a video that says something about the third eye. Not only do you notice it, but it kind of winks at you. There's a resonant. There's just this, this organic impulse to click it. And then you click it and you're watching it and you're thinking, oh, I don't know how I ended up here, but this is fascinating. Wow, I want to open my third eye. This is amazing. And then you go off throughout your day and you just start noticing other signs and synchronicity throughout your day. You see the word third eye, you're on your Facebook page and some one of your friends you didn't know was into spiritual stuff, they're talking about the third eye and you're like, oh my goodness. Those are examples. It doesn't have to be that way, but you're starting to notice synchronicities that are all um, that pertain to the third eye, the sixth chakra, the pineal gland, etc. Number four, I'll go over some physical symptoms of your third eye opening. Number one is tingling. You might notice there's just like a, a tingling or a, like a vibration in your third eye region. A lot of you will probably notice pressure, like, like almost like a sinus pressure, but you feel it's not sinuses because it kind of moves around in weird ways, but just like a, a pressure, like the sensation that your third eye is actually more closed than ever before. What that is, that's your own energy working to pry open the doors of your third eye and you'll feel that you'll feel the the sensations of your energy sort of clashing with the remaining vestiges of blockages within your third eye region but if you're if you are experiencing the pressure then that process is already well underway Another thing you might notice is that when you close your eyes at night especially you see stuff you see uh like colors, shapes, geometric patterns. You this can you can see everyone will see different things. Like for me, I would see yeah, I would see like indigo, like a bright indigo or white light. And I would see like shapes, almost like on like a psychedelic sort of thing where they're just shapes are coming at me, like the closed eye visuals. Okay, it's it's going to be different for everybody, but I remember when my third eye was opening, um I couldn't sleep. Literally, every time I went to sleep, I'd close my eyes and I would see this 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 show, this like this parade of energy and stuff in my mind's eye. It was almost distracting. Now that was after doing a lot of work on my third eye. Not everyone might have that experience yet. A lot of you probably are feeling that pressure. But what I just described, the closed eye visual, that's actually sign number five. That will come afterwards. That'll come once your third eye is like fully open. You'll have those closed eye uh, the closed eye visuals. Number six, you'll find yourself, just as you are naturally uh, resonating with information about the third eye, you find, you'll probably also find yourself excited naturally, you know, fond of, interested in things that are like the results of your third eye being open, such as astral travel, astral projection, lucid dreaming, communicating with your spirit guides, clairvoyance, that kind of thing. When I was trying to open my third eye at that same time, I was also reading books about lucid dreaming and astral traveling and decalcifying my pineal gland for those purposes. I was interested in taking supplements and eating the right foods that would be that would make me a better conduit for my own spirit energy, allowing my chakras to kind of blossom. During that time, I was actually having out-of-body experiences and lucid dreaming. I would, I would have like two or three lucid dreams, pretty clear, vivid ones each week. But this like it, it's you might find yourself again even maybe more so focused and interested in topics that relate to your third eye rather than studying the you know what the pineal gland is. And that's not what I mean. But you might find yourself again just naturally excited about content related to your third eye already being open. And ironically, that's also a way you're going to manifest it being open. Because when you're interested in this particular result, 
like communicating with your spirit guides, for example, you're going to attract everything you need in your life that will allow you to manifest that result. And it's going to be different for everybody. Some of you might find yourself watching a video or reading an article or magazine about you know, clearing your aura because your higher self knows that's going to lead you to the action steps such as cleaning up your diet, getting better sleep, exercising. That's going to allow you to get that result. So it's going to really manifest differently for everybody. But if you find again you're interested in spirit guides and astral travel, lucid dreaming, etc., then you are well on your way, my friend. Number 7 is that you are already on the spiritual path as I will put in quotations. You are already conscious of the fact that you are going through a profound shift an expansion of consciousness, a genuine, bona fide, authentic spiritual awakening. On a, a vibrational ascension. You know you're going through that. This is not the first time you've come in to this information. And if it is, let me just assure you, you are. And you can see this in your life. You can see that your life is speeding up, that relationships and jobs and so forth are changing and shifting and ending. You are changing. You are reevaluating everything about yourself about your life and about your place in the world. And because of that, your third eye, if it's not open yet, it's going to open because that just comes with the territory. And more importantly, you're going to find that your third eye being open is not even, that's one almost, it's like a tangent in a sense to the, the greater picture, which is the fact that you are shedding your snake skin. You are letting go of lifetimes worth of pain and trauma and heaviness and darkness that has been being lugged around by you, obscuring your true light, blocking the true you from shining and piercing through this character you're temporarily playing and shedding goodness and love and compassion and decency and empowerment into the world. If you're watching this video and you're interested in opening your third eye, then you came here to be an example, to be a, a, a leader, to be a light worker as many people call them. You came here to be a way shower. You came here to demonstrate to people in your circle that one can transform themselves ma massively and, and radically and live a life of abundance and freedom and happiness and joy and compassion and love. You came to be that your third eye is one little itty bitty teeny part of it that I promise you, regardless of how this is being experienced by you, it's going to become in a sense insignificant. It's just one of your seven chakras. Some people say we even have more, but when they're all open, then you are shining brightly. You are helping other people transform themselves. And that is the most important thing I wish you to take away from this video. Okay, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this. I, I wish you all well with your, your third eye opening. It is pretty cool. It is pretty neat. You might be surprised at how psychic you are in truth when the, the rubble of your third eye is finally cleared away for the last time and you get to kind of really have that pineal gland activated. It's, it's neat. It's, as I said, very helpful for your, for your navigation through the, through the world. And Again, and more importantly, it's just one component of, of you sharing your light with the planet, which is going to fill you up in your heart. It's going to fulfill you in, on a soul level and allow you to live a truly magnificent life. Okay? So God bless you all, my friends. Thank you all for watching. I wish you all nothing but the best. Have an amazing day. Hey, if, real quick, if you're brand new to my channel, welcome. It's an honor and a pleasure to have you here. All my new subscribers, I offer them a free guided meditation that I made and sort of channeled myself. It was, it's going to allow you to align with your higher self consciously. We all are our higher selves, but a lot of us go through life thinking that we are separate from our higher self. In truth, again, we're not, but this meditation will help you come into that conscious awareness that you are your higher self. When you know that, when you've experienced it, life can get a heck of a lot better and you can really accelerate your spiritual growth 
once you know that and have an experience where you're shown that. That's the intention behind the meditation. It's totally free. Check it out down below, either in the top comment or the description box. With that said, I gotta bounce. You guys have an amazing day. Namaste.